Hello, this is Dr. Claudia Kotka from the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Later Surgery. The topic of dental appliances, we certainly know that we have access in today's technological advances to, multiple, to make certainly multiple different appliances. As a matter of fact, there are over 450 different appliances for various different things in dentistry. We certainly know that certain appliances are going to be certainly catering much more sophisticated ways than other appliances. So what makes a good appliance for you? The one thing that one has to remember is that the appliance has to have the proper prescription that suits your needs. So there are appliances that cater to sports, um, dentistry and sports medicine. There are appliances that cater to, uh, of course, um, job position and area performance that specifically target those. There are certain appliances that go much more uh, sophisticated in terms of what we do at the Institute, and that is when we look at the whole head and neck area as well as the system um, integration, uh, we integrate the variables found locally, systemically, and also vice versa. So we take it to a different level in terms of the nuances and the variables that we take in effect, and we take, of course, in consideration, not just the, for diagnosing purposes, but also for treatment planning purposes. Certainly, there are appliances that are for clenching um, or, or, or to address clenching, to address um, um, bruxing or, or grinding, for instance, in the dentition. At the Institute, we really like to focus on appliances that actually target the cause. And that is how it is differentiated in terms of appliances that really just are delineated by symptoms. For more information, don't hesitate to contact us and inquire about the appliance program at the Institute at www.dclaserdentist.com.